Alright, week 13 NFL, or, or is it still week 12? I don't know. Do we still, we got a couple of games left that uh, we still got to get in uh, for week 12? No, it looks like we're done finally. Uh, so week 13, uh, obviously no Thursday games because of all the schedule changes, so we go right to Sunday. Uh, we'll start with the early games on Sunday. New Orleans is at Atlanta. Uh, good ball game here, even though Atlanta's out of it. They always play the Saints tough. Uh, Taysom Hill has, uh, you know, stepped right in and, you know, played well. And uh, I expected that the Saints will win this game, but uh, this will be a, uh, a, a good matchup and, and hopefully a fun fantasy game. Uh, but I'll take the Saints to win. Uh, Detroit is at Chicago. Uh, Mitch Trubisky back at QB. Um, you know, put up some stats last week in a blowout loss at Green Bay. Uh, Detroit fired the coach, I think, right? I think I saw that uh, at some point over the Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, I don't know who's coaching them, but I don't think it matters. But, oh, man, who am I going to take in this game? You know, I'll take the Bears. But, I mean, you know, the Bears are still hanging around. Uh, in the playoff hunt, uh, and uh, again, the, the Lions are kind of a mess. Uh, they, DeAndre Swift might not play again. Galladay's probably out again, so you know who knows. Uh, and, and Bears defense again, Stafford's face. And this is a garbage game. Don't don't watch this game. Uh, Cleveland's at Tennessee. Um, good ball game here, man. The Browns are eight and three. You know they're going to get. They're going to be in the playoffs uh, for the first time in eighteen years. Uh, in all likelihood, and uh, we get a good matchup here. Um, mm, yeah. I mean, you know, you know, Tennessee's one of the better teams, but man, they they stumble once in a while, and uh, I just I'm not ready to trust Cleveland yet in a big game. Um, I, I think this will be a good game. I, I think they'll stay competitive, but uh, I'm gonna take Tennessee to win this one. Uh, Cincinnati's at Miami. Uh, Miami going to be in the playoffs this year, too. Uh, in all likelihood, uh, Bengals season's over uh, with Burrow out, so there's really no reason to kind of break this one down. Miami will, uh, well, Miami will win this game. Uh, Jacksonville's at Minnesota. Jacksonville, they're, they're as feisty as a 1-10 in team is going to be. Um, you know, they played Cleveland well last week. They were able to move the ball. You know, they Mike Glennon. Uh, taking snaps. Uh, the Vikings, you, you can't ever trust. I know this will be a survivor pick for some people this week, but, um, you know, I'll pick the Vikings to win this one. But, um, you know, don't be surprised if uh, uh, Jacksonville uh, keeps this one tight and, and possibly beats them. Because, again, you just, you just can't trust Minnesota to do anything when you need them, though. Uh, another popular survivor pick, uh, the Las Vegas is at the Jets. I mean, listen, any game with the Jets is going to attract survivor attention. Um, listen, it, the Jets are horrible, but, you know, they got enough of these teams down the stretch where you could definitely see them, you know, putting it together for one week. I, I tell you what, if the Raiders didn't get blown out in Atlanta last week, I, 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 I would say this would be a trap game, but... I can't. I can't imagine Vegas doesn't wake up uh, after what happened last week and, and, and try to you know get things right against the Jets. Um, I think if the Raiders had not looked as terrible as they did last week, uh, you know they might kind of sleepwalk into this game. But I, I, I think, I, I think them getting getting lit up uh, in Atlanta uh, might wake them up. Uh, and, and I mean, I'm, I'm gonna pick them to win, but I, I don't know that this is much of an upset alert. Uh, as it would have been in, in, in a normal week, but uh, and then you got Indianapolis at Houston. Uh, you know the Colts had some guys out last week, and Derrick Henry ran all over them. Um, uh, what's this? I think it's Buckner. What's his, his back? Um, but um, yeah, they they're gonna be. I mean, listen, Houston. You know, I mean, Will Fuller's out now. He's suspended. 
I was going to say Houston, you know, can still move the ball, but uh, this the Colts are going to win this game. Houston's season's over. Uh, late Sunday afternoon games, you get the Rams at Arizona. I'm a little concerned about Kyler Murray uh, for fantasy. Uh, I think that injury is, is affecting him. And now he's going up against the Rams defense. Um, you know, Jalen Ramsey on Hopkins. You know, that leaves you Kirk. And, and I don't know if Fitzgerald can play or not. But um, I'm going to take the Rams to win this game. I, I think that... I think that Kyle Murray may, may be hitting a wall here near the end of the season. Uh, I mean, I hope not because I got him in one of my leagues, but um, which I'm going to win anyway, so it actually really doesn't matter. But uh, a few people who are counting on Kyle Murray, um, you know, you, you just keep your eyes open because uh, he might, uh, he, he, his production might drop off uh, as, as the season comes to a close. And I, I'm going to take the Rams to win because I think that, you know, they'll, they'll force him into some mistakes and, um, you know, put them in a position to win, whatever that means. Uh, Giants are at Seattle. I, I mean, the, the first place New York Giants are in Seattle. Um, I tell you what, the NFC East. You know, you know, everyone beginning of the season was was Dallas and Philly, but I tell you what, the Giants and Washington actually look better than those two teams right now. Uh, now, the Giants, you know, they, they they got an unlucky break because Daniel Jones is out. Not that they were going to win this game anyway, but, um, you know, the, I, I think the Giants of Washington are going to win the division. Um, I, I know they've got tough schedules, but, you know, the Cowboys, you know, what, come on. I, I don't know what to do. I, I mean, you, know, you don't know what you're getting out of them. And then, I mean, I, and I tell you what, the, the – Wentz has got to go. I'm sorry, he, he, he's got to go. The, the guy, the guy's not getting it done. Um, he looks terrible. He's he's ruining Jalen Rieger on some of my fantasy teams. You know, he was supposed to be a late pick, late season. Um, you know, the producer and 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 Wentz can't get him the ball, and he can't get anybody the ball other than Goddard. Um, it's a disaster. Uh, but Seattle's going to beat the Giants. Philly's at Green Bay. Green Bay's going to beat Philly. Um, you, you know, again, I, I don't know what's it. There was a there was a, a moment in the second half of the Seattle game with Philly, where uh, Jalen Hurts was in on first down, and you were like, "Oh, they they replaced Wentz," and then you know Jalen Hurts actually completed a pass, and then they took him off the field. Um, I, and listen, I, I Philly's not looking good. They, they're not looking good. Cowboys not looking any better, but you got to be concerned about uh, what, what, what's going on at once. But uh, listen, I'm the nine millionth person that already talked about it, so who cares? Green Bay is going to beat Philly. Seattle's going to beat the Giants. Uh, one other game late Sunday afternoon. You got New England at the Chargers. Um, you know, New England's still hanging around. They need the game. Um, you know, is is this a game where maybe Justin Herbert, uh, you know, kind of drops off a little bit because, you know, you know Belichick will, will scheme his way around it. But I mean, I, I think I'll take New England to win, um, but I think Herbert can, will still get his. Uh, this could be a uh, this could be a good back and forth game actually. Um, you know, because Cam Newton has, has shown uh, flashes of, you know, uh, having good offensive production, and. Um, I mean, the Chargers are out of it, but you know the Chargers are going to be live every week because, because you know they 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 have offensive weapons. Uh, Eckler is back. A lot of people need him for fantasy, but I'll take New England to win uh, that game. And then uh, Sunday night you got um, uh, Denver and Kansas City. Uh, you know, again, uh, Kansas City is going to win the game. Um, the Broncos maybe they'll have a real quarterback this week. It's not going to matter. The Kansas City lit them up a couple weeks ago. They're going to light them up again. The Chiefs are, you know, they're just steamrolling into the playoffs. And we got a Monday night doubleheader. Uh, Washington's at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's undefeated, and they're, they're, they're uh, no one's talking about this, but I, I, I think Pittsburgh's going undefeated, uh, at least in the regular season. And and I think that they they they've got a chance to do it because I 
I think this thing with COVID, with their schedule getting upended with other teams' COVID, it's kind of like it's kind of like galvanized the team in a way. And and because of COVID, no one's really talking about the fact that the Steelers are on their way to sixteen and up. Um, now again, are they going to be able to? Then go on and win the Super Bowl and and, and, and finish the season undefeated. But this, this is this is like the one big thing that I I, I don't hear anybody talking about. Um, the, their last games, so again Washington, they're at Buffalo, at Cincinnati, home Colts at Browns. Now, I mean, I mean they're beating Washington and Cincinnati. Buffalo and Colts game, you know, those are teams that, you know, that could beat them, but they're, they're teams that make enough mistakes that, you know, you know, Steelers don't make, uh, listen, forget the Baltimore game. That was a, that was an outlier. I mean, I mean the Steelers are a solid team. Um, but, you, you know, you could, and then you get the Browns the last week, and I mean, jeez, I mean, the, the Browns never beat the Steelers. Uh, I mean, and wouldn't that be something if the, the, the Steelers are 15-0 that week? And then the Browns finally beat him. But um, anyway, the, the Steelers have a real good chance to go undefeated, and and no one's talking about it. Uh, because again, even if they go undefeated, it's can they beat Kansas City? Um, so we'll see. Uh, but they're going to beat Washington, and 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 they're getting eight to twelve and zero. Uh, Steelers football. Uh, that game's Monday afternoon, and then Monday night, the regularly scheduled Monday night game, Buffalo's in San Francisco. Uh, you know, 49ers are going to be feisty, even though, you know, they, they still got Garoppolo out and Kittle out. They might be back, you know, toward the end and try to sneak them into the playoffs. Uh, I'm going to take Buffalo to win because I think that they can, they'll be able to outscore San Francisco where, you know, 49ers upset the Rams last week. You know, sometimes the Rams struggle on offense. Uh, but uh, I, I'll take Buffalo to win, but that, that'll that be a good game there. Uh, and then you get Tuesday night football. Uh, the, the Cowboys are at Baltimore. And, and, you know, I mean, the Ravens need a win. Um, and, I mean, not for nothing, but, you know, here are the Cowboys at 3-8. This season should be completely over. They, you know, they look disgusting on Thanksgiving. But what's going to happen? The Seahawks are going to beat the Giants. The Eagles are going to lose to Green Bay. Washington's going to lose to Pittsburgh. If they win the game, guys, they're tied for first. I I, I mean, and, and listen, this is a winnable game, believe it or not. Because... We don't know if Lamar is going to be back. And even if he is back, he hasn't been lighting it up so much this year. Um, you know, all these guys are coming off COVID. They just played a game Wednesday. I mean, in, in, under normal circumstances, no way the Cowboys win this game. But I think they have a chance to win this game. And listen, I, it's not like I'm sitting here like, oh, man, the Cowboys could win the division and go on a playoff run. No, that's not happening. But... The stupidity of this NFC East is such that this this garbage three and eight team, who have gone through four quarterbacks this year, has a legitimate chance to end this week in first place, tied for first. Now they'd be out on tiebreakers. So they see the problem with losing to Washington was they you know they, that that hurt them from a tiebreaker standpoint. But again, the other three teams probably going to lose this week. And, and if they can somehow beat Baltimore, they're going to be tied. They would be, then the Giants and Washington would all be 4-8, and eight, and the Eagles would be 3-8-1 and one, uh, with, with four games to go. I mean, don't tell me it can't happen. I'm going to pick the Cowboys, but I'm, I'm getting sick of this already. Um, be, because, you, you, again, you know they're not going anywhere. Um, but but there it is. So, so we'll see you Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. Cowboys are playing a game on Tuesday. Uh, we'll see you for that. And then uh, there you go. Week 13, NFL. <laughs>